and told Stace that I was just coming out to get a couple of a couple of shots. But I'm secretly going to go and get some ice cream. We definitely can't, we definitely can't fit it in. We've had so much food today already. Is this for me? Thank you. Can you fit that in? Uh, I'm not hungry at all, but I'm definitely going to enjoy this. One of the things we were so curious about before jumping on a cruise ship was trying to find out what food options there are. And after There's one day at sea, we're on a princess <laughs> cruise at the moment, a seven day cruise, we are definitely going to be able to find out all of those options. So yesterday we actually had the chance to probably have a look around and there's everything from buffets and uh, pizza. <laughs> there's fine dining, but we thought it'd be really interesting to try and go around today and see and taste as much of that as we possibly can. But we... <laughs> yeah, so this morning we've, we've made a start already and we've gone for probably one of the more fancy options, which is the... Um, it's called balcony dining, breakfast balcony dining. So we placed our order last night and then this morning got a knock on the door and what showed up was champagne, <laughs> orange juice, coffee, all of the drinks. Fruit and pastries. Fruit, pastries, there's like an egg, uh, tart or a quiche or something with bacon. It's literally sitting on our cupboard, Salmon, I think our thing inside, we can't cheese. fit it. It's, there is so much food it literally doesn't fit on this balcony. <laughs> I've stood up for this bit, I'm worried that <laughs> I'm worried that I'm gonna, yeah, I'm worried I'm gonna pop this over the side of the ship, which obviously is a big no-no. They're pretty particular about that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be really cautious. Oh, good morning. This is our balcony anyway. We just pulled into port this morning. This is La Coruña, Spain. It's not exactly the most beautiful way to arrive. It's definitely very overcast, but we're hoping we can go and do a bit of exploring later on. Nice spot anyway to start our, our first official day. And these are the foods that have actually made the cut that have come out onto the balcony with us. The other half is still in the room. We're not gonna be able to finish all these, but I sort of feel like, do we just take one bite of each? <laughs> <laughs> and of course you wanna drink some champagne. Mm, yes. Cheers. We did get a full pot of coffee with our balcony breakfast, but because we're coffee addicts, we are going to go and get more. <laughs> well, that's like the, you know, they bring you the typical kind of uh, filter coffee and yeah. we want to get some proper... We want to get lattes. Some proper flat whites. legit lattes. I'm curious to see how, how good it is going to be. So we're heading to the International Cafe, which we briefly saw yesterday, but we haven't really had the chance to sit down. You've got some other temptations. Someone's told me about some <laughs> chocolate chip cookies that taste like Subway cookies, so I'm a fan of those and I feel like I'm gonna be a fan of these. <laughs> All right, let's go grab some. Just queuing up to grab our coffees and we can see there's a whole bunch of other bits and pieces down here as well. There's peanut butter, chocolate cups, there's fresh fruit tartlets. We've got Oreo cookie cheesecakes. The actual cookies are in behind us here, so this stuff is all actually included, but the coffees look like there's another cost. I think it's, uh, pardon? The five. No, for a regular cafe latte, two is $2.50, whereas all of these little treats and everything are all included in the price. Cheers. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. That's a legit latte. Yeah, that's nice. I'm down with that, but we are mostly down with the cookies. Anyway, moving on to the cookies. <laughs> the real show. What have you got? You got one of each? Yeah. So I've got a chocolate chip cookie. Ooh, look how chewy it is. Mm. Look how chewy it is. <laughs> look how bendy it is. <laughs> so the thing that I'm picking up we are never going to struggle for food. No. There is temptations everywhere. Yeah, I'm glad that we found the gym because we're going to need to be rolled into the gym. <laughs> so it seems like literally we can walk around and... So you might have to pay for the coffee, but the fact that there is cookies whenever you want, the buffet is like always available. We're not going to do the buffet at lunchtime, by the way. We're going to go and try and see... There's a couple of other little places around and another one of Stacey's temptations. Pizza. I'm going to get some pizza. But the fact that you can walk around and there's just going to be food like this, just whenever you want. Just treats left, right and center. Apparently they bring out scones and stuff, depending on the time of day, like the different restaurants, the different places that you go. There's something else, there's a different theme, there's a different something else that you get to eat. You can just walk up and grab it. Dangerous. It's a very dangerous a scenario. <laughs>
theoretically, you probably could be healthy. No, you could. I should say you could be healthy well, you, if you, you came on board. Could. There are lots of options, but we did come on holiday to eat, eat salads, salads. And eat like rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get that pizza that Stace was talking about. So we're walking out onto this is level 14 now. This is where the swimming pool is and where some of the outdoor style restaurants are. It looks like there are two options that are included here. There's a Trident Grill, which has like burgers and hot dogs and uh, fries and that kind of thing. And then behind Danger, there's also a pizza place. So I think we'll do one of each. I'll, I'll obviously go for the pizza and Danger will maybe get a burger. <laughs> Don't think it matters what you drink on this ship. They've got absolutely every kind of liquor. And thank you very much. Every kind of liquor that you could imagine. All the sodas and water, loads of different beers, spirits, ales, even non-alcoholic rosé, white wine. I've gone for Guinness because I've, I've mentioned this before in the UK. I'm a sucker for it. Sex has gone for the sunny Corona. Beers and cider on tap. And I mean, look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. And then over that side, everything you need for a cocktail trying to find ourselves a spot that we can eat. You can see everybody's down around the pool because I think either a show's about to start, or there's about to, oh, no, this is ice carving. So maybe there's about to be some ice carving, but we think we must be on level 18 now. The same height as the sports courts. We're just gonna nestle down in the sunshine over here, grab ourselves a, uh, a deck chair and sit down and try this food. Got our lunch, I've got my pizza. Smells so good. It's fresh out the oven too, which looks nice. So. Might be a bit hard to eat in the wind. I'm pretty surprised by that, to be honest, in a good way. I thought because, you know, this is a cruise ship and they have to do things in mass, then it might be maybe like a frozen pizza, but this tastes really fresh. It is hot, the pepperoni's nice, and I feel like I'm gonna have to now go back down and get another slice. Did you only get one? I only got one, what a rookie one. error. This <laughs> is <Just> lunch. <laughs> Right, so I did go for the burger. There was actually a chicken breast option as well, which I, I was tempted by, but you can't really go wrong with a cheeseburger. But what I like seeing is that he actually grabbed out, when somebody in front of me ordered the chicken burger, he got out like fresh chicken breast and chucked it on the grill and was cooking it fresh right there and then. But the classic. Wow. The temptation to stay away from eating healthy on this, on this ship is gonna be, it's gonna be a hard one to master. I'm secretly going to go and get some ice cream. We definitely, can't, we definitely can't fit it in. We've had so much food today already. She's lying down to bed in a little bit of a food coma. But we pointed out yesterday in our tour that we did that there's this, there's this ice cream structure here. You can get free ice cream cones. I feel like it's the sort of thing we have to try. Is this for me? <laughs> Thank you. Can you fit that in? Yeah, after all the food that we've eaten. Yeah. Did you get one or is this just no, for me? No, just for you. I just wanted to surprise you with one. Best surprise ever. Oh. I'm not hungry at all, but I'm definitely going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. trying our first specialty restaurant. The other stuff that we've eaten has just sort of been freely available. This one you have to make a reservation, come in, it's a lot fancier. Somebody just put a napkin on my lap. It's good when you get the napkin put on your lap. What's this one called? This is called Sabatini's and it's, a, it's an Italian restaurant. I haven't seen the menu yet, but we've sat down and there's already these big long breadsticks in the middle no, of the table, so I'm already sold. I don't want to break one off because I feel like I'll be destroying the, like, the display, but you can see in the background there's all this beautiful artwork and everything. It feels like it feels Italian, it almost feels, would you say it's steamed? I think so, yeah. yeah. In, a, in, a, in a nice way. Yeah, in a, um, in a classy, a classy theme. I'll go for a little bit of a walk and we can have a look around because we've literally just walked in the front door, sat down, and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Love Italian. I'm gonna start with some water, then we can follow up with some olive oil and vinegar for your bread. You have a breadstick 
already on the table. Then I'm gonna put on the middle some welcome from the chef. It's gonna be flat bread on prosciutto crudo di parma. You always know you're in a good restaurant when the oil and the balsamic is just so far beyond what you would ever buy at home. Dipping this bread in there is absolutely heavenly. We've got this incredible glass of red wine as well. We asked for something that was a little bit soft, something like a, a Pinot Noir, something similar, but an Italian one, and we absolutely hit the jackpot with this brand there. I can't quite read it from here. Nipozano. That's my Italian accent anyway. <laughs> so I've gone for the calmari. What'd you get? I've gone for a burrata, which is like a cheese, and it's got a balsamic glaze, and there's tomato and olive oil, and it looks very super fresh, and I'm so kind. I need to try it now. I should say, I feel like calmari is a bit of a cop out, but I should say this restaurant is very much not like pizza and spag bowl. This is legit. The good stuff. Yeah, we were recommended from our waiter that this calmari is beyond exceptional. It's one of the favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Crispy, not chewy at all. Amazing sauce with it as well. Yours? Mine is just super fresh and I really a good light start considering I'm having a lot of pasta. We got a lot of food to come still. That dinner was absolutely amazing. We kind of got um, a little bit distracted by we how totally amazing did. it was and forgot to vlog some of it. So. Mains. I had a ravioli pasta and I had spinach and cheese and it was handmade and so fresh. Mm, super fresh. So good. I had a veal and it was the one thing that the waiter was like, trust me, get the veal. It's not overly Italian, but, and he was Italian, but he was like, it is incredible. And to be fair, good advice. Giovanni was right. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and then for dessert we had, well, I had a tiramisu. Danger went for the limoncello. Seems like the right thing to do. It, both of those were also incredible. We should note that it's a, um, a specialty restaurant, so it's $29 cover charge to yeah. get in, and it's worth every penny, I it think. It totally was. It was definitely a, a big upgrade from the food that we've eaten today to the quality that we can have there. And there's about so, five, four or five other specialty restaurants that we can go to in, in nights and more videos to come. So the next one will be actually going out and doing an excursion in Bilbao in Spain which I'm really looking forward to getting off and doing some exploring. So check back for that one. But thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you in the comments. Bye.